and we are recording. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters. On the last episode, we took on the Woody House and we dealt with all the fire ghosts inside of the area. We also took care of the flame face ghost that was causing all the trouble. We've got only one more house left to take care of, but before we go into it, let's see if we need any items. Uh, nope. This recording should have been out sometime before Thanksgiving, but unfortunately I ran into a bit of a snafu, so I couldn't get back to it in time, unfortunately. Same goes for the uh, Let's Play of Five Nights at Freddy's. That episode should have been released sometime after Halloween or before it, but uh, unexpected company came and I wasn't able to get the episode out, unfortunately. It is recorded, but, well, you guys will see it when you see it. But for now, let's continue with Let's Play Ghostbusters. I also have another video that I'm going to upload eventually, but I have to do a bit, I have to fine tune it a bit more and edit it. But for now, let's continue. Anyway, action start. There's only one stage left for the time being, and that is the high rise building, and its money the payoff is $8,000. So, without further ado, only one place left. Let's go to high rise building. There's some sort of strange entity in my penthouse. Well, you being Ghostbusters, can't you hurry up and find them? If things stay like this, the value of my penthouse will fall! Got just about all you said. Don't worry, leave it up to the Ghostbusters. Alright, Ghostbusters, let's get out of here and take care of business. Case 4. High-rise building. Two middle ghosts to take on. Welcome to the high-rise building. This stage is quite possibly one of my personal favorites, and it's got some very good music in it. The ghosts in here range from that little glowy warm thing to that little bouncing, uh, eyeball, and many others. The music in this stage is very, very catchy. I love it. Besides dealing with those numeral ghosts, we also have to deal with flying silverware, and on occasion, a giant fist will punch through the building, and trying to punch the ever-loving crap out of us. Most of the ghosts in here are just uh, simple items such as coffee cups, plates, and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, and rolled up shag ruggings of all things. I don't even know why. Uh, that is... Whoa! That fist will punch through the building on multiple occasions trying to hit you. And guess who the fist belongs to? Yep, you see that, ladies and gentlemen? There's the head honcho ghost right there. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. He's the one punching the fist through the building and everything. Yeah, I need that. We'll deal with Stay Puft later, but for now, we're stepping through this door, equip the three shot, because we are taking on our first middle ghost, and it's a gigantic centipede. This boss flies around the stage willy-nilly and will constantly fly into you on occasion. If you aren't quick enough to damage it, it will split into multiple pieces flying around the stage. So you gotta disarm it as soon as possible. Like so! All you gotta do is just keep on the offensive by shooting at the centipede, and eventually it will fall. Piece by piece by piece, you gotta wear it down. And I'm already dead, dang it! But this boss isn't too difficult, especially if you have the three-way shot, but you just gotta be careful. Wither it down, and eventually, boom. It's capture time, come here ya little gotcha! And there you go! If you don't have the three-way shot, the boss can be pretty troublesome, especially when it separates and it splits all over the screen, basically. Anyway, I had a quick three-way shot, and we continue on. Stupid little... I believe that's actually a shag rug ghost of some sort. I can't be too sure exactly what it is. I never bothered to look up most of the names of the ghosts in this stage. But anyway, uh... Let's continue on. Look out for Stay Pup's Fist and destroy this coffee cup. The more ghosts you destroy, the more money you'll get, so it's always important to destroy as many ghosts, or defeat as many ghosts, as you can throughout this game. The more money you have, the more happier you'll be, basically. 
I'm probably gonna lose another life in this part, but that's okay. I still got plenty of continues. Screen nuke all these irritating ghosts that are in the way. And then we can continue on. Why the hell are coffee cups the most hardest enemies to defeat in this stage? I don't get that. Whoa, look out! Dang it! Damn you, Stay Puff. I will get you eventually. Bomb these enemies. Destroy those ghosts. Destroy that dang shag rug uh, ghost. And then move on. But we have another tablecloth ghost, so destroy that one as quickly as possible and move on. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna eat my Peking Duck because I don't want to die just yet and end up with another continue just yet. And there goes Stay Puff punching his fist to the building again! Seriously, Stay Puff! Uh, uh. Thank you for the help, Pickup Slimer! There we go. God, I hate those knives. The knives move so fast and so quickly, it's ridiculous. And there's Stay Puff again! Looking through the window with his big fat smile. I see, you son of a biatch! I'm gonna get you, Stay Puff. I'm gonna get you good later on. Before we go through the door, let's climb up here and see what we got. Slimer again. And we get another... We get a weapon pickup. There's nothing up here except for a safe with some money in it. Let's see. 6,950 money. That's not too bad considering. I see you, Stay Puff. Quit looking at me. The one thing I like about this stage is uh, just the layers of the stage, basically. Now we go through this swimming area, basically. And we go through to the other side. I destroy that ghost to move on. I forget what most of the names of these ghosts are in this game, I just... I don't know. Anyway, we get another one. Now we destroy these safes and see what's inside of them. Money. And a bomb. And that ghost regenerated, but anyway, come up here. Shoot Slimer, come on. Thank you! Three-way shot and step on through. We get our next boss! Encounter! And this, I believe, is the uh, living dungeon or whatever it's called. I always called it the Gremlin for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, the boss will move back and forth when it's up in the air, and it'll shoot a laser at you. Dodge the laser. And on occasion, he will start to, well, ram you on the ground, basically. But all you gotta do is just keep up with the three-way shot, and eventually he will fall. This boss is simple. He's simple. Back over this way. And there we go. Come back this way. Come on, baby. Got it! Simple ass pie. I still got it, baby. I still got it. That takes care of that ghost. And we get a nice little help refill. But anyway, here comes the ladder. So that way, we can climb up and we can finally take care of Stay Puff for punching through the building. Stay Puff! Do you know how good toasted marshmallows taste? I love marshmallows. But one day, I ate too much and then I realized I'd become the Marshmallow Man. I'll do the same to you. You'll enjoy it. The hell I will! Anyway, here's the boss for the high-rise building! It is good old Stay Puff Marshmallow Man! The, Stay Puff, uh, the Marshmallow Man, will, Stay Puff will basically, he will shoot lasers at you, he will fire these flaming pillars at you, and your job is to dodge them. Keep up the offensive by shooting him in the face, basically. Dodge the fiery, fiery blast he shoots at you, and dodge the lasers, too. I'm probably gonna die in this boss. And I'm dead, yep. And on occasion, he'll throw his fist out at you. 
Dang it. Still got eight continues, but we're not gonna quit. Anyway, buy a Peking Duck. And buy a few bombs. And that'll do it. Return to the stage. I will see you guys right back where we first fought Stay Pub. I'll be right back, you guys. All right, time to take on Stay Pup again. Round two, here we go. Ding, ding, ding! Here we go. Gotta get you Stay Pup, you son of a biatch. I'm gonna turn you into s'mores! Ah! That eye laser is usually hard to dodge because you never know exactly what direction it's gonna go. Same for the giant fiery thingy he shoots out. One thing you gotta worry about is his dang fist. Which direction it's gonna go? Ah! I'm gonna turn you into s'mores, Stay Puff. I'm gonna turn you into s'mores! All you gotta do is just keep aiming for his face and eventually he will fall, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a matter of time. Come on! Come on, baby, come on! Another one? Son of a... Dang it! Ah! I hate you, Stay Puff. I hate you so much. Keep smiling. Keep smiling, you son of a... If it's not obvious with the way I'm shooting, I'm mad and we got him! Uh, I turned you into s'mores, you son of a... And we got the fourth stone tablet. Ay ay ay, I hate the Stay Puff boss battle. It's so infuriating sometimes. Oh boy. But we did it. We got the fourth stone tablet and we took care of the high rise building. Ladies and gentlemen, here's for your services. I wonder if it's not a little too much. Don't worry about it, ma'am. Two middle goes down and the total is $17,120. Woo! And what the? It's done. We finally got all the pieces together. Now let's try to solve the mystery. What? There's nobody left here. Hey, we got a letter. If you ever want to see those two people again, bring the stone tablet to the old castle located outside of town. Sign Arthur. Exactly who is Arthur? I'll tell you since you're a good customer of mine. Tell me, Grandpa, do you know this Arthur? In a word, just a long time ago, Arthur was just like you and he did research on ghosts. He came to my shop often, but after he found the stone tablet you are holding, he disappeared. What sort of power does this tablet have? I don't have any idea, but it has some relation to the recent activity of the ghosts, for sure. Well, anyway, I'm going to rescue my two friends. Thank you, Mr. Weapon Shop Owner. So, Egon and Ray are missing because of Arthur. They, he has essentially kidnapped them. So now, if we want to rescue our two fellow Ghostbusters, we have to take the stone tablet pieces to an old castle outside of town. Hence the old castle at the far edge of the map. It looks like we got another mystery on our hands. So, this Arthur guy researched ghosts just like we did. But after we found the stone tablet we are holding, he disappeared apparently. So now, we gotta go to an old castle, and we gotta save Ray, and we gotta save Egon. I'm Leo Hightower, and thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters. We're going to an old castle in the next episode. Until then, stay golden, you guys, and peace out.